From her early days as a struggling backup singer to fighting cancer and becoming a TV icon, Katie Segal has had a remarkable career. And believe it or not, there's a whole lot that fans might not know about her. So let's take a look at some of those facts. Now, we all know that she has an incredible voice, but did you know that she actually started her career as a backup singer for some pretty legendary artists? That's right. Before she hit the big screen, our gal was singing her heart out behind the scenes for the likes of huge names, including Bob Dylan, Etta James, and Bette Midler. Can you imagine being a fly on the wall in those recording studios? I mean, I'd give anything to hear Seagal harmonizing with Dylan on Like a Rolling Stone, or belting out backup for James on At Last. And let's not forget about Midler, who is known for her powerhouse vocals. I can only imagine that she had to bring her A-game to keep up with the divine Miss M. But here's what's even more impressive. She didn't just stick to backup singing. She also released her own solo album in 1994. It was called Well. Talk about a triple threat. And we haven't even gotten to her acting and writing careers yet. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel like I need to step up my game. So let's get more into her history. Now, here's a fact about her that might tug at your heartstrings a bit. Did you know that she is the daughter of Boris Segal, a celebrated television and film director? That's already pretty cool, but unfortunately, his life was cut tragically short during the production of the TV movie World War III in 1981. Now, I'm not sure I could handle losing a parent in such a sudden and tragic way. But here's the thing about Katie. She is one tough cookie. Despite this devastating loss, she went on to have a successful career in the entertainment industry and has become a beloved figure to fans around the world. I think it's a testament to her strength and resilience that she has been able to overcome such a difficult start in life and still find success and happiness. And it's also a reminder that you never know what someone has been through. Even the people we admire and look up to have faced their share of challenges. So let's all take a moment to appreciate Katie and the strength and perseverance she has shown throughout her life. With that said, let's lighten the mood up a bit. If you're a fan of Katie, you probably already know that she's a total badass. But did you know that she's also a throat cancer survivor? That's right. She faced down one of the scariest things a person can go through and came out the other side stronger than ever. And if you're anything like me, you're probably curious about how she coped with her cancer diagnosis and treatment. Luckily, we don't have to wonder. In 2016, she released a memoir called Grace Notes, My Recollections which chronicles her life and career, as well as her battle with cancer. She wrote about her journey, including how she felt hopeless and struggled with drug abuse. But eventually, she was able to use her strength, and she not only beat cancer, but she also beat addiction. I don't know about you, but I love a good memoir. There's something so inspiring about reading someone's story and finding the common threads that connect us all as human beings. And with her talent for storytelling... I can only imagine that Grace Notes is a must-read for anyone who wants to know more about this amazing woman. Now, everyone's different, but when I think of Katie Seagal, the first thing that comes to mind is probably her iconic role as Gemma Teller Morrow on Sons of Anarchy. And if you're a fan of the show, you know that her character was not only a force to be reckoned with, but also a badass biker. Well, it turns out that Seagal has a passion for motorcycles in real life, too. In fact, she's been riding since she was a teenager, and she even rode a Harley Davidson on Sons of Anarchy. I don't know about you, but that's pretty damn cool in my book. But she's not just a fan of motorcycles. She's even well-respected in the whole motorcycle world. During Harley Davidson's 110th anniversary, she was chosen as one of the esteemed guests to perform at the ceremony. Clearly, our girl is appreciated for her badassery, way more than any of us give her credit for. I love that Seagal has found something that brings her so much joy, and she's not afraid to share it with the world. Now, let's dive deeper into her acting career. So, if you're a fan of Married with Children, and let's be real, who isn't, you know that Seagal absolutely killed it as Peggy Bundy. But did you know that she almost didn't get the part? 
It's true. Initially, the producers of the show wanted Roseanne Barr to play the role. Now, don't get me wrong, Roseanne was great at comedy back in the 90s. But can you even imagine anyone else playing Peggy besides Seagal? I sure can't. Thankfully, Seagal knew what she wanted and wasn't afraid to fight for it. She convinced the producers to let her audition for the role of Peggy. And, as we all know, she nailed it. But here's the thing. Even though Seagal was amazing as Peggy, she wasn't always appreciated for it. In fact, she was never even nominated for an Emmy for her work on the show. Can you believe that? Well, don't worry, Katie. We all know you deserved it. Now, as much as we all love Seagal for her incredible acting and singing talents, I think it's safe to say we're all a little bit curious about her romantic history, right? Well, let me tell you. Seagal has had some interesting love stories over the years. Let's take a look at her husband, shall we? Her first husband was Freddie Beckmeyer, who was actually a musician in her backup band. They were married in 1978, but unfortunately, their marriage didn't last long, and they divorced in 1981. I guess they couldn't hit the right note in their relationship. Her second husband was Jack White, and no, not the famous White Stripes musician. This Jack White was actually another musician, and they were married from 1993 to 2000. I wonder if he ever drummed up any drama in their relationship. But don't worry, because Katie found love again. Her third and current husband is Kurt Sutter, whom she married in 2004. And if you're a fan of Sons of Anarchy, then you're probably familiar with Kurt Sutter. He's the creator and writer of the show. Talk about keeping it in the family. Anyway, Kurt and Katie seem to be going strong. So let's hope they stay on this wild ride of love together for a long time. And finally, we come to one of the biggest accolades that an actor can receive in Hollywood. A star on the Walk of Fame. And you guessed it, Katie Seagal has one. In 2014, she received the star for her contributions to television. Now, I know what you're thinking. Gee, I wish I had a star on the Walk of Fame. Well, first of all, that's a pretty random thing to think. But secondly, you can't deny that it's a huge honor. I mean... Just imagine how cool it would be to have your name etched into a star on the sidewalk for all of eternity. People would walk all over you, but in a good way. It, okay, maybe that's not the best selling point, but you, you get the idea. It's a pretty big deal, and let's be real, Katie Seagal deserves it. With a career spanning over four decades and roles in iconic shows like Married with Children and Sons of Anarchy, she's made a lasting impact on the world of television. So. Next time you're in Hollywood, be sure to take a stroll down the Walk of Fame and give Katie Starr a little nod of appreciation. And those were some facts fans didn't know about Katie Seagal. <laughs>